Today's video is about bamboo toothbrushes and straws. Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa West and welcome to Living Your Yoga. Today I'm here at Glen Major Forest, a gorgeous conservation area, and I thought it was a great place to talk to you about bamboo straws and toothbrushes. <laughs> so a few months ago, somebody suggested to me to get some bamboo straws for my smoothies and my juices because every week I do a smoothie and a juicing video and I'll link to those in the show notes. And in my search for bamboo straws, I came across a company called Brush with Bamboo. And not only do they sell bamboo straws, but they also sell <laughs> bamboo toothbrushes. So why bamboo toothbrushes, you might ask? Well, it had never occurred to me before either that our plastic toothbrushes actually end up in landfills, or worse yet, they affect our marine life when they end up in our oceans. So apparently, over two billion plastic toothbrushes will each take over 1,000 years to degrade, and they are dumped in landfills every year worldwide. Large amounts of plastic toothbrushes have been found washing up on our shores. They can be found floating in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch and have been found inside the stomachs of albatross birds. So Brush with Bamboo was founded by two friends who wanted to make a difference by reducing the amount of plastic waste in the world. So I actually never stopped to think that my plastic toothbrush was ending up in landfills or worse yet, disturbing the subtle marine ecosystem. So part of yoga is practicing awareness or mindfulness. And with this awareness, I had a choice to live in truth and compassion and more in alignment with my values of loving kindness towards all beings. So for me, it was a no-brainer to switch to bamboo toothbrushes, and I hope that you will join me and do the same. So I will link to the company in the show notes and also their Facebook page because they, they have lots of cool posts about how you can make a difference in the world by reducing the amount of plastic that you use. So I hope you like this post. If you do, give it a thumbs up and leave your comments below. For more tips on how to take your yoga off of your mat and into your life, visit AskMelissaWest.com and have Melissa's videos delivered directly to your inbox. While you're there, ask Dr. Melissa West a question. She may answer your question on an upcoming episode of Living Your Yoga.